Okay, today we're looking at um, hull potential from your boat and uh, checking to see whether you've got whether you're actually rusting and whether your anodes are appropriate or not. This should be done really with a uh, silver cell half cell reference cell to check and see whether it actually, you know, is the, the real way of doing it. But obviously you probably won't have that and um, getting hold of a piece of solid silver is also pretty tricky as well. So we're basically looking at narrowboats to see what the condition of the hull is and see whether what electrolysis you've got and what galvanic issues you might have. Um, so what I've done is I've cheated slightly and I've gone with a silver plated spoon because obviously that's a nice piece of silver as far as the, the water is concerned. And what you're doing is you're just dangling that spoon but not the wire in the water. That goes in and it goes fairly close to the boat, doesn't need to go, you know, doesn't want to touch anything. So it goes in there. And then what you're doing is you are checking from that spoon to the earth of the boat. Now this is a galvanic isolator but the point is the same because basically this wire here earths onto the boat. So what we're doing is we're checking the voltage to um, you know from the water and the half cell as you know we've made up to the earth here. So that's got minus 0.5 volts. Now basically anything from 0.7 to 0.85 of a DC volt um, means that you have got approximately where you need to be um, with anodes and, and rusting and, and, and you know what not. So any less than that, um, now in this instance we've gone negative, um, any less than that and you've obviously got some, you know, you've got rust going on. Anything more again you may have stray voltages but you can pretty much tell because 0.7 to 0.85 of a volt between a silver spoon in the water and the earth of your boat, so that's there. Um, anything majorly out and you've got something really nasty going on. This is useful for checking for um, galvanic erosion, you know, do you need um, do you need a galvanic isolator for example, things like that. And also you can check and see if you've got AC le leakages, DC leakages from maybe bilge pumps, things like that. This is the reason, this is what, what we're checking for here is what causes those horrible um, silver spots and erosion on the boat when you take it out for blacking. So there we are. You can also then, while you're at it, check for AC leakages and see whether there's any problems there as well. You can see there's nothing on this one. There you are, guys. I hope that helps.